Hello everybody, my name is Mash and today we're going to be doing another Door Fortress tutorial. Um, today I'd like to show you how you can use an aquifer to create an easy unpowered mist generator. Um, without using any of the pumps or any of that stuff, we're just going to make water fall down a few Z levels uh, through some floor grates. And it's going to mist our dwarves really nicely. So the first thing we need to do here is find the aquifer. So I'm going to do that right now, and I'll get back to you as soon as I find that aquifer for you guys. Alright, so we found our aquifer right here very easily, uh, just a couple Z levels below where we where the cart is. Very convenient. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, tell them to finish that staircase like that. Oh, no, no. We want him to finish the stairs. Um, I also want to make sure that we have our stairs just kind of plotted out like how we want them. I always do uh, stairs like this. It's just how I like to do it. Supposedly, it makes the game run a little bit or have a bit of an easier time running and processing things. So let's let them dig this out. He's probably going to stop once he gets, yeah. So we have to finish up that water on the corner, or the stairs on the corners again. So let's do that. Then what we have to do is dig that out around the staircases. Um, we got to come back up to the surface and tell them to chop some wood so that we can use the wood to make walls. He's going to do that really quick. Let's wait for him to cut down that one. Okay, now we're going to go do walls. Go back down to here. We're going to make one line. Boom. Unpause that and let them build it. And uh, keep building after placement. Um, put another wall down. There. This is just so we can seal off the aquifer for right now. So, now that we have this, all I need to do, all you guys need to do, is uh, repeat this process until you're all the way through the aquifer. So I'm going to do that right now, and when I'm finished, we'll come back. So, we actually got really lucky, and this aquifer is only just this one level. So we only had to worry about that one time. On the floor below it, I went ahead and told them to start digging out uh, these hallways from the stairs a little bit. Um, as well as one floor below that, I designated some kind of mock areas for, for beds, crafting on these floors. Oh, there's another aquifer right here. Look at that. Wow. Okay, well, we're, we're just, um, I'm going to dig into that for right now because it's kind of annoying. That is pretty annoying. Um, that's okay. I think we're just going to pretend that that's not there or something. Or we'll just, um... You know what? We'll should, maybe we'll tap into this layer. We'll tap into this layer for the aquifer then. Okay. So where we're at now is we are I I I uh, dug out some hallways, a little bit of space just to put a stockpile down, just so I can get these guys to make some floor grates for me. Um, I made sixteen of them because I think we're gonna need to go down four floors, and uh, we're just gonna have four little channel holes on each end so that should be good um, for that so let's start let's start getting those channels going um, I know it's gonna seem weird on this floor at first but we're actually going to channel down like that in a square around and the reason being is that this is gonna be our drainage this is eventually going to be our drainage so um, we're just gonna, we're just gonna come, like, off. Actually, let's not go that direction. Let's go 
this direction and I don't think we even need this you know what I'm gonna say maybe we don't even need drainage I think I think this aquifer is going to evaporate the water from the aquifer is gonna evaporate fast enough that I don't believe we're actually gonna need a lot of drainage so like for example what we could do after this like later on if you still want to build on this floor is you could just have hall your hallways coming off like this for um this is just an example you can build your base however you want and i don't care um so like if we let them start digging that out then we can we can just go to constructions and do a floor maybe and just put a floor like that you know and then the water will still be free to go underneath this channel inside this channel uh, but your dwarves can all walk over it so I guess just for the sake of it we'll just do that oh um, also I forgot one thing which is that we need to leave space for the floor grate right there so we need to destroy that one and uh, we can just build the same thing right here um, <clears throat> okay so now that we've got that going they're gonna still dig out those hallways there but I think I'm gonna tell them to stop that because um, I don't care about the hallways I was just trying to show you guys that as an example uh, so now we can come back up a level pause the game again they're gonna build that floor didn't I tell them to destroy that floor right there? I did. So I don't know why they didn't. Okay. So now let's go back up a level. Um, boom, boom. And we need to channel... Can I not channel that right there because... There's an item? Because there's a stockpile in it? <laughs> That's annoying as heck. So we have to literally just delete the stockpile in the spots that we want the floor grate because it won't let us build on top of the stockpile. That's it. Otherwise, you guys wouldn't have to worry about this. I'm just dumb. Um, so now we can do channels. Channel, channel, channel. Um, same with this. Channel, channel, channel channel the only reason I'm putting them in this exact spot is because of where it's gonna be uh, when we access this aquifer so I'm gonna dig out this wall right here and then channel out the floor below it and then we're gonna dig out one more square to kind of increase the water flow um, and we'll and then um, after that we're pretty much we're pretty much golden pony boy so Let's see, they dig those, they dug those. So now let's get back to our mining tool. Dig out those walls, and also let's make sure that they're not going to mine that out. Because we don't we don't need that. So this is all you want to dig out from there right now. We're going to wait for them to finish that. Which I think, are they sleeping or something? Yeah, I think they're taking a nap. Okay, here, here goes a couple of them. Okay, so they, they stopped. You know what, that's fine for now. So we're going to channel that, channel that, channel that, channel that. And tell them to mine that wall, mine that wall, mine that wall. Mine that wall. And then we can come right over here to, and prep our furniture. Oh, no, no, no. It's under constructions and floor grates. So use closest material. Um, put there, 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 and there. <coughs> there we go. This is the basic design of your mist generator right here. Um... I may still actually need to dig out another one and then um,
water can also go diagonally, but um, that's why you kind of have to have the walls alongside the floor grate here, otherwise it'll sneak past. So you only want water to be going into the tiles where there's a floor grate, otherwise you're wasting some and it gets it gets stuck on your floors and stuff and it's just it just looks bad. So let's keep putting down these floor grates here. Ah, one short. And we're going to put them down here as well. Oh look, it's already working. You see that? Water's already falling down through there. Now I have a feeling it will evaporate faster than why is the game not unpausing? Oh, because I, I gotta close out of that menu. The error. Okay. Now see it is it's starting to fill up. So this this will work. This will work just the way it is. We've got two we're two layers deep in our aquifer already, so I don't think I'm going to increase the water flow any more than that, than what we have already. Do this other floor grate. So one, two, three. So I should have four more floor grates coming, right? Yeah. Look at that. It's working. It's working. And see how easy it is that, like, this can literally be the first thing you build in your playthrough is your mist generator. You don't have to worry about any of the pumps unless like you want it to look nice. I think it looks, this looks just fine. You can incorporate this into your like, cir like I personally like to make circles in this game a lot. So like usually around my spine staircase, I'll have uh, circles that branch off into hallways in different directions, all kinds of different stuff. So now we've got these other two floor grades going. Let's place those down. Oh, only one more. Only one more and then we're done. Okay, so that's it. We are done with our mist generator. Um, I could sit here for another couple minutes and <laughs> look at my dwarves and see if they're actually getting misted. Uh, but I also forgot to set up. I forgot to set up. Okay, turns out I had the, my recording pause uh, when I thought I was recording. So, I don't know what I have and what I haven't said. Um, so, this is finished now. Um, I want to let you guys know that the only reason this works is because the, the aquifer is above my fort. Um, otherwise, I would have to use pumps to get the water from below my fort and pump it all the way up. Um... I, 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 th this is why I like having aquifers personally, because it just makes it easier to do something like this, especially when the aquifers at the top level, I don't really see the aggravation with aquifers, to be honest. I think when you find one this easily, it can set up your fort for like to, ha to be having really happy dwarves. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is about it. I guess I'll leave you guys here. Uh, don't forget to like, and subscribe. Um, I stream on Twitch uh, basically whenever I have the time to, so go ahead and check me out at twitch.tv slash it's mashbro. Um, I'd love to see you guys there. We uh, Sometimes we have a lot of fun, so um, I'm going to let you guys go with this. See you in the next one.